Ugh. Sorry, guys. All right. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. Ah, uh, walk through, guys. Just like my gaming. Bang, bang, boogie returns. How long is it? Okay, just one moment. Generations of kings are crying out from their graves that lie in competence. The time has come to flee, sire. All right. Your strength of character will serve you well, though. That's good. Never deny it. I will not run like a coward. You have not the freedom to choose to die, Highness. Please escort his Imperial Highness to the Inner Sanctum and prepare to unleash the beyond. Yes, yes sir. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> Looks pretty good, guys. Number where number fifty one. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, welcome to the team and help the team go beyond their limits. That's good. <laughs> That's cool. Any new plays I just created, or is that even possible with everything that you, the league has already seen and that you already incorporated? I think there's not a whole lot of uh, like 100% new plays. Uh, usually, it's variations to different things. I think uh, from our standpoint, you know, you're probably oh, playing with personnel more. and just the presentation of plays. Mm. Plays are plays, but uh, yeah, there's always going to be a, a little change throughout each each off season. And so, uh, you know, I, I don't know what the percentage is. I'd be a really bad guess of that. You know, somewhere in that 20%. There's always 20 to 30% probably change each off season just because you're going to change personnel and you're going to change different styles. How hard is it in the second half of the year to give different looks or continue to do different things that defenses haven't seen in the second half of a season? Second half of a season? Um, yeah, I think you're probably trying to run things that play off of stuff that you ran earlier in the season. Um, you know, the, the balancing act, I think, for, our, for us is as the season progresses, we practice less and it becomes more jog through and just because of the physical wear and tear of a season. And so uh, you're always balancing out how much, how much uh, you know, variation you can, you can present and stuff. And so you're trying to build off of that. And then this is obviously a big aspect of training camp so that you can fall back on some stuff that, hey, we, we want to give it a shot. We want to try something. We may like it, and it may not show up until later in the later in the year. But we want to at least give ourselves uh, some different presentations, some different looks that we can use as the season progresses. I, I've heard, you know, Coach you know, Bill. I, I was I'm old enough to know, and Bill Parcells was here, and he would say, like, you know, they don't really call it. There's no really such thing as a bad play. It's like bad execution. Is that a philosophy that still works in the league? It's a great question. I, I think, you know, it is. biased from my vantage point. I mean, you're gonna come. You're gonna, you're gonna call plays. And you're gonna look. At, you're gonna watch it, and you're gonna sure. say, "Oh, that was a really dumb call." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that looked a lot better. 
uh, you know, Monday through uh, Saturday. But uh, th- that happens. Uh, obviously, it happens. I totally understand that. But you're always looking at it from your vantage point. How can I improve? How can I get better? And so, uh, certainly, that pops through your, through your mind plenty. All righty, guys. Have a great night. Peace.